All right. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good night. Hello. Hello, Inez and Carla, right? Okay. Hopefully, everybody is going to join us. Uh, today, we have two topics, very important. Uh, we're going to be talking about simple future and WH questions. Uh, I need to make... Um, a conversation, actually practice uh, with all the information questions, WS questions with the simple future, which we were talking about last week. Last week we were talking about the simple future. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay. In the meantime, okay. let's see who is coming to the class. I only have four students. We're supposed to be 20. Well, now we have five. Um, let, let's get some more. Okay, so because I don't like to be waiting a lot because there's, there's a lot to talk about. Um, you know, people should be in the class, as, you know, on time, you know, so that's one of, one of the rules. So let's begin with, with this. I'm going to prepare. Hi, good night. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. Now I'm going to share with you the first thing that we're going to do. Let's see. Let me know if you can see this. Can you see? Yes, it? I see. Good. Everybody? Yes. yes. Good, good, good. So today we're going to to do a, the the topic is have and has. But in this, in this topic, actually, it's not talking grammatically. It's talking about how do you feel. For example, when you have a headache, you have a toothache, uh, you have a stomachache. Uh, so the things that are bothering you in your, in your body. That's what we were talking yesterday about um, parts of the body, remember? Remember uh, yes. that yesterday we were talking about parts of the body, right? Yes. Yes. Cool, cool. Yes. Very good, very good. Uh, now, what we're going to do right now is to listen to this uh, video, pay attention, because later we're going to do a little bit of, of practice, okay? Okay. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart how to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. 
then we need to put have finally we include a noun a headache let's take a look at one more example I have the flu the subject is I then we need to put have finally we include the noun the flu now I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective we can follow this formula subject plus feel plus adjective let's analyze the example I feel homesick the subject is I then we need to add feel finally we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of this adjectives towards the right I feel sick awful terrible miserable fine great terrific fantastic now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums positive adjectives okay guys um what i want to i want to explain or i want to know if you do if you did understand a lot or if you have any questions about um you know how how to make these kind of things this kind of questions so i would like to go here here this is them. okay um if you know we have one two three four questions including how are you how are you it could be yes i like when, when you're greeting somebody so everybody's you know it's like the greeting but when you say what's the matter what's wrong and how do you feel that means that you are preoccupied about about a person about a friend you know meaning that you want to know if they they feel good or they are sick that's what it means but how are you it could be you know saying hello to a friend but this one when you say what's the matter what's wrong and how do you feel then you can say one of these things you know for example i'm sick i'm sick means what does what does i'm um, sick means do you know if i say if, I, if somebody said um what's wrong or how do you feel i can say i'm sick so what what does that mean when you say i'm sick estoy enfermo very good very good very good okay so maybe you can also say but remember only this question what's the matter what's wrong and how do you feel because how are you is is like like a greeting como un saludo so these ones are like when you are concerned cuando usted se preocupa por alguien usted dice what's the matter what's wrong you know that's how you use it okay and then you can say i have a headache i have a backache i have the flu so what is i have a headache dolor de cabeza the whole thing. dolor de cabeza Dolor de cabeza. Tengo dolor de cabeza. Very good. And I have a backache. Me duele la espalda. Ajá. Tengo dolor en la espalda. And I have the flu. Tengo resfriado. Yes. Gripe. Gripe. Resfriado gripe. es cold. C O L D. Cold. Okay. So it's, it's different. They are different. Yeah. Cold, eh, cold, igual que helado. No, es no, resfriado. 
resfriado. Y flu es gripe. So, son Pero diferentes. cold, cold, resfriado, igual que... que el... Ah, sí, la palabra, yeah. Um, C-O-L-D. C-O-L-D. Yes, the same thing. Ah, uh, okay, thanks, thanks. Very good. Um, so you can yeah. say that. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what is the name? Uh, terrific. 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 Um, meaning like, um, terrific means positive, meaning that you are good, you're okay, you're super, you know? So it's a positive adjective. It's like saying you are fine. If you want to say you are fine, you say, I'm terrific. It's the same as saying I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, any other question? No. Okay, how do you say me duelen los oídos o tengo dolor de oídos? Somebody? I have an earache. Earache. Remember earache. Ear earache. 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 I have an earache. How about, um, ear. how do you say, how do you say, tengo la garganta in English? Mm. Tengo dolor de garganta in English. What would that be? I have the throat. No, I have a sore throat. Sore throat. S O R E. -A. Sore, sore throat. Sore throat. Okay, very good. So this is how okay. you how, how how you ask people. Eso es como le pregunta la persona cómo se siente. What's the matter? Repeat, please. What's the matter? What's, What's the, matter? the matter? What's the matter? Very good. And what's, what's wrong? What's, what's wrong? wrong? What's wrong? Very good. And how do you feel? And how do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel? How do you feel? Okay. How do you feel? Good. I'm only asking these three because these are the ones, you know, that show like preoccupation. Okay. How are you? It's not, it's not for that. Okay. Now, what does it mean when it says, I feel homesick? What does it mean? Que se siente enfermo. Enfermo. No. Se no. siente melancólico. The very good. Melancólico. Okay. Meaning, for example, if you go to the United States, you're going to feel homesick because you're going to miss things in the Salvador. You know? Yes. Good. And what does it mean when it says, I feel better? Que se siente mejor. Very good. And what does it mean when I say, I don't feel well? Que no se siente bien. Very good. Very good. Okay. So Teacher, uh, yes. can you repeat, please? What? Sentences. Can you repeat, please? The last one, sentences. Oh, I don't feel well. What does it mean with, I, I don't feel well? I don't feel I don't feel well, well. well. I, don't I don't feel well. well. I don't feel well. You can also say, también puede decir, I don't feel fine. I don't feel fine. I don't feel fine. Don't feel fine. Or, don't or fine. also you can say, I don't feel okay. I don't feel fine. I don't okay. feel okay. I don't feel okay. Very good. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, when I say what's wrong, wrong eh, no es como equivocado, o sea, como no, no, la... No, no. wrong eh, sí significa equivocado, pero en otro contexto. En este contexto es como decir, what's wrong, o sea, eh, ¿te sucede algo malo? Ah, ok, 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 ok. Very good. Ok, thanks, sure. thanks. Yes. También con la palabra güey. Wait, this is a carretera, camino, pero también se puede usar en, en otro contexto. ¿verdad? En muchos contextos. Por ejemplo, para decir de ninguna manera, okay. you say, no way. No way. No way, de ninguna manera. O sea, que no accede a hacer algo. No way. No way. You know, you know that English is pretty funny, you know. You can, you can use one word for a lot of things, you know, depending on the context. Depending on the context. Very good. 
Ok. Ok. okay. Um, it is raining very hard here, so it's like, como que se quiere ir la luz, porque está lloviendo fuerte acá. So, si de repente se va la luz, sí. espérame un momento, okay? ok? Ok, 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 no problem. Okay. ok, any more questions about this? No. Ok, good. Let's move on. Ok, so now, uh, remember that when would you say if you are preoccupied or you want to show that you are feeling like concerned about somebody, you say what's wrong or uh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Okay? What's the matter? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to show you another way to use have and has. Let me show you. Has and has. The light went out, so I have no internet. Damn it. 